Did you guys know that I run an air system in my fish room? Today, we're going to discuss exactly what that is, how it works, but most importantly, what the heck's an air system? So you may have watched my videos in the past and wondered exactly what that PVC stuff is that is running all around my fish room with those weird little dangly wires coming out of it. Well, they're not wires, and to better explain it, we're going to take you over to the Board of Explanation. So, what is an air system? And it's not that. So an air system is one of the simplest forms of filtration, and it only requires air, thus the name air system. So how it works is it's basically a scaled up version of those air pumps that we use in our tank with those cool little air stones that put the bubbles up like that. This works on a much larger scale. So how an air system works is there's an air pump. That's what this square thing is. We'll draw some legs on it. And then we're gonna write air pump. Is there an E? E? No, no E? Air pump. This stuff around here is the air. That's the air. It's all around us. There's air. So what that does is it's just a bigger version of those small little pumps that we use. That runs up here. This is some airline tubing stuff. Airline. And that runs up to this thing right here. P, B, C. What it does, it runs up to this PVC and creates what is basically a giant manifold. And you can run airlines off of it as many as the pump allows. And we'll make a fish tank. We need a different color for a fish tank. Fish tanks are blue because there's water in them. So we'll make a fish tank. Tank. That's what that is right there. And so back to the black. Okay. This runs down into the aquarium. We'll have two of them. We'll say like it's it's 75 gallons. 75. Got two of those. And those run into the tank. We got some filters here. Yep. That's exactly what they look like, some K1 in there. And the bubbles go from the air pump into the PVC, running down from the air lines into the tank, filtering the water. Simple enough, right? And the most important concept of this whole system is, is how exactly does air filter water? So how it works is I'm gonna draw a filter here. Beware, it might be beautiful. So this is gonna be our sponge filter. That's the base to our filter. Up, and it goes like, not the best, but it's pretty dang good. So how it works is the air line comes in here, and so the air flows into this, and we'll just draw the air line extended down. And so what happens is the bubbles, call these bubbles, come up and then they flow out of the sponge filter. And what that does is it creates suction. It creates suction. So it's utilizing those bubbles to create water flow, which then circulates water in through the sides of the sponge filter or whatever kind of air filtration device you just may happen to be using and filters it with that biological process. And this is how it filters the water. So let's get to showing you my air system. The heart of my air system, the thing that makes an air system an air system, and that is the air pump. That's that guy right there. It's an elemental O2 pump. It only runs on 60 watts and runs basically all of my tanks in my fish room. It's inexpensive. You can get it online on eBay for under about $40. Amazing. Super durable. Have not had a single problem. It's relatively quiet. I throw that filter pad under there to keep the vibration sounds down, but otherwise, that's about all the sounds that come out of it. It's a fantastic pump. There's a ton of different sizes of pumps, different kinds of pumps, but the main thing is that it works for your application, and this pump, for me, works perfectly. The air may start here, but it goes other places. We'll be there next. And all we have to do is follow the air to know where it goes. So, the air starts down there underneath the tank. I got some beautiful line that runs up to a beautiful T with a hose barb, and that attaches to some awesome fantastic three quarters inch PVC that runs the entire circumference of the fish room. I don't need to show you everything because I already said that it runs all over the place. So we've gotten the air via the pump into the PVC. How do we get it out of the PVC into the aquarium? Air valves. And to further explain these air valves, we're going back to the board of explanation. So how these air valves work is this is an air valve, but I'm going to draw one because that's a way better explanation. 
This is your PVC. All you got to do is drill a hole in it, like that. And you've got these air valves. It's got some beautiful threads on it. It's got the little thing on it. I think that's pretty good. And so you drill a hole in that PVC. You put some thread tape on that air valve. Thread tape. And then all that does is it spins and screws into that PVC perfectly, creates an airtight seal, and gives you full adjustability of air. Pretty cool, right? And last but not least, we now have our air in the PVC. Now we know how it gets to the aquariums. The last stop for that air is to go into the aquariums and filter our water. They run up from our air valves. The air line goes into it. The air flows up through the filter coming out, creating movement in the moving bed filters, creating suction coming through those sponges, thus filtering my water amazingly. Enter filter montage. <laughs> system.